Hey guys, we are back in Pillars of Eternity. I'm Yodayun and we are playing as the Dwarven Monk. As a... Uh, Ink. As we call it. Um, we are um, back in the game where we just uh, climbed the mountain and escaped from bandits and some sort of supernatural um, phenomenon. So we are back with... Um, uh, Kalish, Kalish, Kalisha? Kaliska? And uh, Hyoden, who is currently bruised, so he's gonna have to rest maybe a little bit. Um, check a low level of the runes has been blocked off by fallen of rubble. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, you didn't hear that, right? Because I was talking at the same time. Let's uh, pump up the the volume, vo voice volume a little bit more. The music, I think, would be fine. I guess. Um, all right, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm not sneaking right now. Maybe that I should. should be far enough. <sighs> but what now? No, oh, he's injured. For another way out. Storm has to die sometime. Mm. Who attacked us? Clan Faithans. Those be the hut dwellers. They may warn you about. Look to the fangs of. Galloway, who who are the twitchiest of the lot, they go rune to rune looking for fights with colonists. Poor Dima, I think he has expected this, but once we lost the main road, I don't believe that Dima would never allow it. But as much as the Fangs are hotheads, then Fathers don't attack without being provoked. Either way, they sow something and got the wrong idea, or there's looters in here with us. It's not something we need right now. Let's get going. Hedon takes a step forward and his knee buckles. And before anyone can catch him, he stumbles to the ground, his cheek striking the time one's cobbles. On unsteady legs, he closes his way up to the wall and back to his feet, but his stance is shaky, like a sailor walking on land after a time at sea. Could we maybe stay here and rest a few hours? I've lost some blood. It seems quiet off to the left. It might be a place- I hate to say this, but we can't afford to stay put. Those Glonfathans were riled about something. Could be we got company in here. Looters will be armed and ready to kill, and there's probably a lot of them. We can't be caught sleeping in their beds. Please, I just need to lie down for a while. Then we can move as fast as you want. Maybe you didn't hear me. We are gonna die in here if we don't get moving and get this place figured out before the looters come back. We've either got to find the exit or a damn good place to hide. I think I'm gonna go with uh, rational. It's because I'm not good. I'm just not. Okay, so we have to press on. I, I'll do my best. All right. Well. <laughs> let's uh keeping an eye out let's sneak a little bit wonder who was here see if they left anything useful behind camping supplies hmm small shield a torch okay yes <laughs> Shall we rest? Eh. We don't need to rest. It's fine. It's just fine. Okay. So, look at the look at the little light effects. Uh, pretty. So pretty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Just, uh, never know there. I'm here. They'll never know I'm here. Okay. Those tiles look suspicious. The eastern ridge is a dangerous place for lurking enemies and carefully conceal secrets. Enable scouting mode to move. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm doing. Okay. Well, that's probably traps. Okay. Those symbols. Just like the tiles. 
Okay, so that's pretty obvious what we have to do there. Let's check the back one. Hmm, there's a body in there. Ooh, what's that? Black ooze. Ooh. Okay, they are kind of weird. Let's attack that. Then, he's uh, gonna knock that down. If we can, yes. attack that. All right. Okay. Do you have any wound? <laughs> Not yet. Jesus. Just attack, man. Be fine. It's gonna be fine. There you go. That was kind of weird, though. Okay. Plasma. What's that? Mm. Jelly. Mm. Kind of weird. A polex. Yes. Oh. What's that muck on the wall? A vicious lick of something dark and tar-like runs down this wall. The shapes and bulges in the ooze suggest that something lies beneath it. We can't tell what. You rinse the ooze away, revealing an intricate relief of a man's face. The sunburst surrounding it has chipped away in places, but the details of his head, from the tight curls of hair to the ridges of his pointed ears, still showcase remarkable craftsmanship. One eye socket is empty. A gem feels the other. Do you have any gem? Alright, no. Well. Maybe we need to find a gem. Then. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, let's find that gem. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna light up all these things. Use a torch. Okay, hmm? you... Well? What you need? Okay. So now we can see where the traps are, obviously. <laughs> but we're gonna explore that way. Sneak back. There's a gem there. Okay, so that might be it. Let's go back. I haven't done that before. So maybe it's a boss or something. Oh, there is a. That's on D. Yeah, fast mode. When you press D on the keyboard, you guys just uh, go faster in the, in the areas that we already explored. Place the gem in the eye socket. The chamber begins to rumble. Stray rocks dancing across the tile floor. Finally. A large section of the whole walls that gives away. Hello. There's more black who's there. Yes. Come on. Nope. Dodge that. Come on. Kite that. <laughs> Alright. Let's attack it. Can try to blind it as well. Well. Boom. Think it's fine. Okay, we, we killed it. Uh -huh. Da -da. What is it? They'll never know I'm here. What is that? 
Major fatigue. Oh, she's fatigued now. And you didn't want to rest. There is a minor cloak of protection. Right. And two gems. Nice. That's worth it. There's nothing there? Nothing else? Nope. Okay, uh, let's see our inventory, because I think we looted s quite some things. Uh, what about DR6? Okay. Leather armor. And yeah, that's the, pretty much the same. What about that? Protection from the elements and from... Trying eyes alike. Okay, so can we actually combine an armor? Yes, and a cloak. Nice. Cool. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, you have a hunting bow as a secondary weapon. That's 212. That's 21, 31. So we're gonna take that. Uh, we don't have any any big melee guy right now. So we don't need to worry about their weapons. Uh, we can take a torch and take a hammer with us. That's Wolf had. We don't need. Okay. I think it's fine. I think we're good. What Do. is it? Yeah, no. Boom. Uh, we don't need to run anymore. We don't need to hide, I mean, anymore. Okay. So. Whoa. What you need? Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh, uh, she's so dead. <laughs> oh, she's not dead, actually. Yeah. Sorry. No! She was the one selected, for fuck's well. sakes. Well? That's stupid. What is it? Okay, well, let's Be put quiet. ourselves into... No. There's something ahead. There you go. Fresh air in here. What you need? I think we found an exit. I Sounds fucked like it up, pass. guys. <laughs> I knew where all the trap was, but I run. So, you know. Well, look. Just do it this way, man. It's way easier. Oh, stupidity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. It's fine. Now you have two spiders to fight, which is fine. I'm gonna kite them a little bit. There you go. Now, you attack that. You attack that. You try to blind the other one. What is it? So much for you. What? No, 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 what no, 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 no. no. There you go. What you is go it? hand to hand, man. That's your thing. Just kill it. There you go. Yes. Don't have anything to loot. Well. Okay, there's nothing to take. Gonna sneak in an eye out. More. Oh shit! There's a big spider. Okay, let's uh, kite the little one first, if we can. There you go. All aboard. And blind it. Yes. Okay, now. I don't want. Oh, god damn it. Okay, attack that. You knock that down. You can do shit. Well. Okay. Okay, let's survive that. <laughs> Try at least. We destroyed her. 
Man, well. that was easy. Ta -da. Okay. There's something over there. A bloodstone and a rapier. Okay. Bats as large as chickens. Trying in the web. I think we're gonna get out. <laughs> I don't wanna be there anymore. Balam. Ta da. Ta da. Ta da. And this is a scene. Four figures stand before an otherworldly other apparatus, an ancient structure of chiseled edra and metallic, metallic veins, ominous and look looming like a silent observer. Standing motionless in the midst, what appears to be a human body, colorless, colorless as stone or ash. The other figures gaze upon it in what might be contemplation. From your vintage point, you're well obscured from their view. The, fig the figure closest to the ma machine stands out among them. A thick gray beard, beard frames a face otherwise hidden beneath a, a metallic mask. His faded robes are embroidered with a runic language unlike anything you have ever seen. And he wears a strange black headdress with two protrusions but just out uh, that jet jet out like the wings of some malevolent creatures finder, bear witness and see this man has kept his word true to his last breath full to his blood's last drop guide his soul queen that was and regard it among your favored let his life by the key be his confession let his death by the key be his absolution May he walk the world ever free of the crushing weight of the book. book. Your brother has done his part, and you have seen the power of his contribution. I will accept no further hesitation from the rest of you. In the sight of the queen that was, will you fulfill the... The queen that was. Will you take your place beside your brother? Is it resurrection? Is it about resurrection? Law? Step forth, and be assured of the great worth of your life. And he walks away. Huh. White screen. Fan in white. For an instant, the apparatus goes quiet and the air is still. Then, all at once, it erupts with a concussive surge. Light floods your vision and you're knocked to the ground. Your head snaps back as you land and pain wells into the back of your skull, washing, uh, washing your last thoughts away into the black and conscious void. You open your eyes to a different place another time. You stand in a circular room, grand and domed, its walls lined with Adra and trimmed with copper. The style is ancient, but the chamber is unweathered. At the far end of the great pillar of Adra pierces the floor from below, its shimmering texture giving the illusion of boundless depth. Encircling the pillar is an apparatus much like the one you've just seen, but immense and multi-faceted and intertwined. Your thoughts are yours and not yours, and they seem to exist before you th think them, and they're all questions, pressing questions, troubling question questions, questions that must be answered or, or. At the base of the pillar now, you see a man with a thick gray beard in a ceremonial robe, crowned with a strange ornamental headdress. You know this man, you're working towards him now, at a pace that is buried, buried while trying not to appear so. Hurried. You have something you want to ask him, one question above all, and the question spins madly in your mind. Huh. Strange. 
You awaken to find your malaise, malaise, malaise has broken, only to be replaced with something far more concerning. Faint whispers are audible at the edge of your hearing, like a ringing in your ears that does not subside. Movement flits through your periphery, but when you turn to look, you can see no sign of whatever it was. You find your gaze regularly darting this way and that, an eventually paranoid tick. There's a sickness, it may be dangerous to go without treatment for long. The figures at the, at the machine stand frozen in place, flesh and blood replaced by cinders and ash. The man who led them is nowhere to be seen. Hilden and Kaliska lie bloody on the uneven cobbles, their, body, their bodies twisted unnaturally in death. You're alone and far from help. Gilded Veil may be the, your best hope of receiving treatment before things get worse. So they're dead! Our companions are dead! They're dead! The dead, son! Alright, guys! Thank you for watching. There is a big mystery and we are kind of ma mad. We are losing your, uh, our minds right now. But we are leveled up! <laughs> we are leveled up. So let's uh, ass assign our points, which I think would be uh, uh, athletics and the level 2 mechanics because we need it. And the level 2. Level 3 mechanics. No? Level 2 survival, actually. No. Level 3 mechanics. It's gonna be better. Okay. Um, what about. Unlocks. Uh, the monk immediately inflicts enough raw damage on himself or herself to gain a wound. Oh! That's nice. Faster rate or wound yourself. I think we're gonna go with faster rate so we can gain some wounds a bit earlier anyway it's gonna be it for uh, today thank you for watching anyone everyone and um, I'll see you next time for more pillars of eternity with uh, the dwarven monk ink thank you guys bye bye